the first really huge study that was conducted to compare physical exercise and antidepressants was conducted by James Blumenthal and colleagues in 1999. The title of the study was Effects of Exercise Training on Older Patients with Major Depression. So obviously the intervention was aimed at older adults aged 50 to 77. All in all they had 156 participants who were attracted via advertisement, for example, in newspapers. They wrote, well, we want to conduct a study on the effects of aerobic exercise on depression. And in a way, this is a weakness of this study because probably only those participants decide to take part in this kind of study who are generally open to exercise. So it's a bit questionable whether the results can be generalized for the whole population. Besides that, the methodological procedure was very good. All 156 participants were randomly assigned to three experimental conditions. One group received aerobic exercise. They met three times per week for about 45 minutes for a supervised group session in walking or running. The second group received an antidepressant. They received sertraline, which is a commonly used antidepressant. And the third group is also very interesting because in this group the participants received both treatments. They did not only receive the antidepressant, but they also exercised exactly the same time as the first group. So for this group, in fact, they expected the biggest results. The treatment duration for all three groups was 16 weeks. So after 16 weeks of treatment, they diagnosed, of course not knowing to which group the participants belonged, so they were blinded, they diagnosed the remission rates. So which of the participants were no longer regarded as clinically depressed? Well, it turned out that in the aerobic exercise group about 47% were no longer diagnosed with MDD, Major Depressive Disorder. Quite surprisingly, exactly the same result turned out for the combined group, for the group that received aerobic exercise and antidepressants. In this group, the remission rate was also about 47%. What about the antidepressant group? Well, this group was a little bit, but really only a little bit better. In this group, the remission rate was about 56%. Now you might say, well, 56% in comparison to 47%, hey, that's obviously better. Yeah, numerically it's better, but it was far from being significant. So maybe this difference was just due to chance. Of course, maybe if they had more participants, much more participants, they would have more power to see whether this numerical difference was really a significant one. But nevertheless, it was definitely far from being a big difference. As I said, it was far from being significant. So this is really exciting stuff because antidepressants can have a lot of side effects. For example, they can affect sexual functioning, whereas aerobic exercise has as well some side effects. But these side effects are all positive. I mean, it, it makes your heart stronger, it makes your bones stronger, it strengthens your immune system, and it even seems to have positive effects in relation to cancer. So a long list of positive side effects.
Even though these results are really promising and really interesting, the study from Blumenthal and colleagues was criticized. Why? Because they had no placebo group. And therefore the critique said, well, you can't be sure whether the results are due to social effects, for example. Because think about it, the participants who were exercising exercised in groups, in supervised group sessions. And maybe this feeling of belonging to a group, being accepted and having others who are in the same situation, maybe this is the positive effect of the aerobic exercise intervention. Well, to rule out this possibility, Blumenthal and colleagues conducted a second even bigger and better study in 2007. This study was published in Psychosomatic Medicine and the title of the study was Exercise and Pharmacotherapy in the Treatment of Major Depressive Disorder. This time they had even more participants. They had 202 subjects, 153 women, 49 men and the average age was 53 years. All the participants, just like in the previous study, were physical inactive participants. So we have to keep in mind that all the effects probably would not occur, at least not to this extent, in participants who are already physical active. Again, the participants were randomly assigned to this time four experimental groups. They had one aerobic exercise group, which was in fact exactly the same like in the first study. They were exercising in supervised group sessions three times per week for 45 minutes on a treadmill. The second group was also a aerobic exercise group, but this time the participants were exercising alone at home. Um, they should practice for exactly the same amount three times per week for 45 minutes and the idea behind this experimental condition was quite obvious. They wanted to make sure to have a group that was not that much socially supported so they could make sure that in this group so they could make sure that the effects are also present when uh, the factor social support is no longer present. The third group was just like in the previous study a antidepressant pill group. They received sertraline and the fourth group was as many researchers had said you need this kind of group. The fourth group was the placebo group. This group received a placebo antidepressant pill. Again the treatment duration was 16 weeks and after 16 weeks they again took a look at the remission rates. How many of the participants could no longer be regarded as clinically depressed? Well those participants who had practiced in the supervised group showed a remission rate of 45%. Those participants who had practiced at home had a remission rate of 40%. This was just a numerical difference. It was not statistically significant. But I wouldn't be surprised if with a bigger number of participants maybe this difference would become significant because of course the group has a positive effect and furthermore it was observed that participants who exercised at home probably did not exercise that hard. But what about the antidepressant group? Well again just like in the study conducted in 1999 there was no significant difference. They had a remission rate of 47%. And what about the placebo group? 
those participants who were told that they were receiving a antidepressant pill, but in fact it was just a sugar pill, well, the remission rate in this group was 31%. Also not that bad. I mean, think about it, 31% with a sugar pill, pfft, that's not bad. Why is there such a big effect? Well, first of all, there are spontaneous remissions over time. So uh, after being depressed for a while, usually some people's moods just get better. And on the other hand, the placebo pill group was also in contact with the experiment. Uh, for example, telling them, well, my pill does not really work that well. And then the experimenter talks about possible reasons and then they decide, well, maybe we have to increase the dose. And this kind of contact can also have a positive effect. So it's called placebo effect, but in fact there are also some other psychological mechanisms at play. Well, to sum this all up, in my opinion, I think... It's quite interesting to see that a quite simple aerobic exercise treatment of three times per week for 45 minutes for 16 weeks can have a similar effect as antidepressants. But I think, and that's also found in some studies, I think there might be even stronger effects possible For example, if we send the participants in the woods instead of letting them run on a treadmill. Because especially some recent Asian studies could show that forest bathing, the Japanese call it Shinrin-yoku, can have positive effects as well. And so one could combine the positive effects of being in the nature and aerobic exercise. And I guess even bigger effects might also be possible for individualized treatments. For example, some people don't like aerobic exercise. They like playing football, baseball, tennis, beach volleyball, basketball, whatever. And probably it's much better for them to do the sport that they really enjoy. <laughs>